Hi guys, it's Alice and today I'm going to recommend some books for you based on books you may have already read. So obviously these pairs of books, they all have something in common that makes me feel like if you like one you will probably like the other. And that can be that they're in the same genre or they have the same themes or sort of the same vibe to them, I guess. I'm assuming most of you will have seen these types of videos before so I'm guessing I don't need to explain it that much. But yeah, I've picked out five pairs. I did struggle a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, but I think that I've picked out some good ones. So first up, we have got a classic, and it is Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll. And I'm sure most of you will have either read this or you've seen some sort of adaptation of it. The story is, of course, about Alice who falls down a rabbit hole and finds herself in the absurd world of Wonderland and the book is about everything that she gets up to while she's there. This is a really funny and weird and creative book and I think if you like this you might like The Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland in a Ship of Her Own Making by Catherine M. Valente. This is middle grade and the story is about a 12 year old girl named September who one day meets a wind that whisks her off to fairyland. And the story is about everything that she does while she's there. And the world is, it's not the same as in Alice in Wonderland, but they have a lot of things in common in that they're very weird and funny. And this book also has illustrations, as does most editions of Alice in Wonderland. Secondly, we've got another classic, and it is 1984 by George Orwell. And this is, of course, the very famous dystopian novel set in a totalitarian regime where the government surveils everyone and they control people and their behaviors. And I feel like this is one of those books that when you've read it, it completely changes the way that you think about things. So if you like that, I can recommend Youth Without God by Ödön von Horvath. This is also a classic, it's just lesser known. It's translated from German and the author wrote it while he was running away and hiding from the Nazis. In it, we meet a teacher and the book sort of takes a look at everyday life under fascist rule. And the story starts off with this teacher reprimanding a student for a racist comment. And because he does that, he himself gets accused of crimes against the fatherland. Both 1984 and Youth Without God discuss totalitarianism and truth. And both are books that really make you think. And both are also kind of weird. <laughs> Then we've got some nonfiction, and if you, like me, love sort of adventure nonfiction, you may have already read The Lost City of Said by David Gran. This is a sort of mystery adventure story, and it takes a look at what happened to the British explorer Percy Fawcett when he tried to find the lost city of Said in the Amazon forest. And the book has a lot of history to it, it's a lot about the Amazon, and it's just really, really fun and exciting. Now, if you like that, you also might like The Feather Thief by Kirk Wallace Johnson. And this doesn't deal with the same topic at all, but it has that same sort of adventure to it, and it has a lot of history to it. And the book is about this heist that took place at a natural history museum where a guy broke in and stole a bunch of birds and their feathers. And it's such an exciting and fun story. Of the two of these books, this is definitely my favorite. And I just want more people to read it. But I feel like this is sort of a harder sell because it's about feathers and birds and not some sort of like lost city. But just trust me, this is amazing. Second to last, we have got Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng. And you may know that I read this very recently and I loved it. It's contemporary fiction and it's set in the suburbs of Cleveland where the Richardson family decide to let their rental home to a single mother and her daughter. And the story is about what happens when these families intertwine. 
And I just love this book. I love the characters and I loved reading about all the relationships between all of them. If you liked that book, which if you've read it, I'm sure you did, you might also like The Strays by Emily Bitto. Now this is quite different because this is historical fiction. It's set in the 1930s in Australia and it's about this young girl who becomes friends with these sisters at her school and she starts coming home with them and like hanging out at their house and she becomes really really involved with these sisters lives and their whole family's lives and there are a lot of interesting characters who spend time at this house and it's just filled with interesting people and such great atmosphere like I love the atmosphere that's in the house in this book. I'd say these two stories are quite different but they both have amazing characters. Even though they're set in like different time periods and different settings, they have a lot of the same themes and a lot of the same sort of feel to it and both are excellent novels. Lastly we've got another classic and it's one of my all-time favorites. It is The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood, which I'm sure you know is a dystopian novel set in a place called Gilead where some fertile women are kept as baby-making slaves for the rich and infertile elite. And I just think this is an excellent book. It's a really interesting commentary on women, how society views women, and freedom. A book that gave me some of the same feelings as The Handmaid's Tale is The Book of the Unnamed Midwife by Meg Allison. This is a post-apocalyptic novel set in a world where this plague has killed almost everyone, but it has killed more women than men so there are very few people left in general but a lot less women than men and we meet a midwife who disguises herself as a man to protect herself. This is really dark and gritty and the setting is quite different from The Handmaid's Tale but both books have a lot of the same themes to them. They discuss women and feminism and freedom and I don't want to spoil anything but the last chapters of both of these books they have something interesting in common. Okay guys, those were all the books that I had for you today. I feel like this is such a great way of recommending books, although it is kind of difficult to think of these pairs sometimes, but if you can think of any, I would love to know, and I will see you soon. Bye!